Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is QR Genie by Shamir Salim. Before we do this review, I'd like you afterwards to go and have a look at onlinemagic.co or have a look at that and come back here. That's my membership site with 800 videos plus loads more now probably, uh, loads of tutorials, loads of card stuff, a course on coin magic, a course that's passed halfway through the Royal Road to Card Magic, everything in that book. And I add to that every about three months at the moment. Uh, but it's all very well shot. It's all very nice. If you like this, you're going to love that. And of course, the live sessions we have every week, most weeks, not tonight, because I'm going to a gig in, uh, in Leeds. But that's too much information, isn't it? And like and subscribe. Not known for giving too much information, am I? Talking about which, it's very easy to do that with what we're going to talk about now because this is a very interesting app. Now, a lot of people are like, I don't like apps because you get your phone involved, people think it's just an app. And this is where at the beginning of QR Genie, I thought, yeah, the, and then again, you learn more and more and there's lots more you can do with it. And the danger of it is for me to tell you everything it does. The review goes on for 25 minutes. Nobody wants to watch that. So do use the comments box below and come to the live sessions most Thursdays at five o'clock. Again, not tonight. Uh, comments on comments and I'll answer any questions and we can get a little deeper. And um, if, if you request it, I can also uh, create another video. But again, you can find the details online. What this does, so um, Shamir made Hydra. Hydra is an app where you have a prediction, it ends up on your Instagram bio. Brilliant, because you get people on your Instagram, it blows their minds, and they're on your Instagram. Brilliant. This takes it one step further, and it's not to have instead of, I think it's a very different thing, but what this does is creates, a, so the first the reason it's called QR Genie is because it, there's loads of things, but one of the main things is it creates a QR code, and you say to someone, go to this place, they go to a web page, or you can create a link like I did, and it shows you what is equivalent to a link tree page. So a link tree page, if you don't know, bear with me. If you want to see one, go to my Instagram, Steve Faulkner, go on my bio and click the link. Now on Instagram, you can only put one link in your bio, but when you click that link, it opens up a page with all the links to all your social media, or your contacts, your email, your phone numbers, all that sort of thing. So it's like a business card online, which is great, and it's on their phone. So they've got all your details, which is brilliant. And then you can obviously say to them, you know, follow me and we can have an audience in front of you. Um, and I did do half of this trick without the trick to my audience in my show because I didn't have time to learn it properly. Okay, so fair enough. That's not a magic trick though, is it? The magic part of it comes, well, there's an update recently which makes this better. So you go onto that page and at the bottom there is a result of a prediction. So at its most basic level, They've chosen a card, you don't know what it is, you say, right, go to this QR code, they, all your stuff comes up, your Instagram links, they go, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Then you scroll down and there's a picture or a video of that playing card, which is pretty impressive. It can also be pretty much anything. So if you say to them, think of any celebrity, they think of a celebrity, they open the page, they go down and there is a video playing of that celebrity or a photograph, a high uh, quality photograph and a high quality video playing, or you, you press play, so it's not necessarily autoplay of that cele celebrity. Great. There might be an autoplay, but I don't know. I haven't used it. So again, I haven't used every single part of this, but most of it I've played with. So that's your basic thing. Here's the thing. There's a prediction on the bottom. They go, oh, did you know that? Yay. How do you get that prediction on there? I'm not going to tell you all the, the methods, but what I will say is there are some built-in things that make it very easy. So you get it out of the box, so to speak, not that there's a box involved, of course, but you will be able to straight away do playing cards, zodiac signs, ESP. So obviously if you've got a marked ESP deck, you can do that. But you think, well, how do I... Get... So you can get all that information onto that link tree through your phone. But part of me was going, well, hang on a minute. They know it's a website and they know that people that know link trees or any of those websites, you can just update it or you can get someone else to update it. So that's not very magical. So then we've got the different things built in to make it more magical. All these things can be done very 
um, by stealth. And even though you're using your phone, they might not know you're using it depending on your situation. It could be on your lap and you could do something, you know, it's, it's all, all the stuff's built in to make that process very quick. And the fact that it happens without giving too much away, you can have your phone is black, it looks like it's off. You can do a thing quickly, still looks like it's off and it's all sorted. That will, to some of you, if you haven't been in that situation very much, be like, oh, I'm not going to do that. But you, you find that when you're in these situations, you can. I do a lot of stuff where I'm sort of turning, I do wiki test, it's turning around, I'm turning back to you so I can't see what you're doing on your phone and I'm just kind of, you know, doing all sorts. The best thing I've um, discovered to do this or way of doing it in a situation where you're not performing so you haven't got that misdirection or anything going on is with other apps. Now, a lot of people are going, I don't want to start buying loads of apps. So, and here's the thing, it's up to you. It does a load of stuff without the other apps, but I used it in the footage I've got because it's on someone else's phone. I don't even have to get my phone out at all. And I'm performing this on the, with Ellipse. So I've done it with Ellipse. I've also tried it with other apps, Wikitest, things like that. So with Wikitest, they search something on their phone. Then you go open up another tab. You open up another tab, go to this QR code or whatever, or, or link, and you go, there's some stuff, great. Scroll down and there's a video of the, of the, work, the thing they've searched for or, or whatever. Now, briefly, I mentioned an update. The update now is you can get someone to open that Linktree page and say, don't scroll up yet, and it's just got all your details. Then you do the routine and then you go scroll up and the prediction is there. So they've had the page open all the time, which is very powerful. This is a, the great thing about this, obviously, is the prediction, but they've got your details on it. They've, they've all got, you know, a page open with all your details on it, which is it's kind of, I don't like giving out business cards after performing. It feels really weird. If someone asks, it's a different thing, or if I can work it into something, but it's an odd thing. This is integrated in the routine. Everybody's blown away. And then after they say, thanks very much, that's worth a follow, and click on it, and, and you get your followers that way, which is, again, it's, a, it's replacing business cards, and it's great. So the upsides of this, very strong, great for business. The smart reveal, which I'll tell you about, is what smart reveal does, if you turn that on, whatever word they think of and you get that input in, however you feel, will go online and either search an image or a video connected to what they've said, which is, again, which takes a lot of the work off you. You can also have lists in there that you've you've created. So. If you have a list, say, of a, a memorized deck, I think mem decks are in there, but if, if there wasn't, you have a list of all the things, you know that um, you know number 32 is the Jack of Diamonds, and you can just type in 32, and that'll do it for you. Again, I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to do this, but clock swipes is a, is a really powerful method, so you can do it in your pocket, the phone isn't out, and you can start getting Peaksmith involved, all these different things. So when you're going, oh, I don't want to get my phone out, there are lots of alternatives to that, and I've only explored a little bit but I want to just give you that information so you can then explore more because again I'm going to be here for 25 minutes if I go into all of it what I do want to tell you is really cool thing which is just amazing to me is that if you're working tables and you do it at a table which I definitely am going to there's no doubt I'm not going to do this because I want to get booked and I want them to have my information I don't want to do it within a magic trick. I don't, again, I know I've kind of said this, but I can't get away with that thing of doing a trick with a business card. It just doesn't suit me. And I know it does a lot of people, um, unless it's a mentalism thing. I can't do that because my business card's got writing all over them. Idiot. Uh, so the, uh, what was I saying? Still, I've lost my thread. Uh, business cards, did it, the thing. Oh, yeah. You do it to a table. Their prediction is the seven hearts, say you want to do a basic card one, great. You go to the next table and you do a different one. They go to your page and it's their prediction. But if they refresh their page, the first person, seven of hearts or whatever, it's still going to stay on that one, if you see what I mean. So their prediction for seven days, or you can set it to different times, will always be they go, oh, I did this thing the other day, look, and it's still there. But you've, you've changed the prediction on someone else's phone, which is great. So you do it to all these different individuals or groups. The prediction's different. But for each one of those people, it stays the same when they go back to it and refresh for seven days, which I think is really important. You don't want that to be updating all the time. Or you can set it so it does update all the time and the thing just changes every time you do it. I wanted to do in my show a prediction based on something that had happened and just go, right, everybody open your phone, go to stevefortner.com stuff at the end and there'd be a prediction 
at the bottom of that, which I thought would have been great. Or you could have a big uh, QR code that kind of comes down. You go, everybody point your phones at that. You've got a whole audience with your details and you're finished with, a, with the prediction there. You can customize everything. You can customize the page. You can customize the, the way the prediction shows of writing before the prediction. So you could say the card you're thinking of is, you can do all that stuff. What's great is Shamir takes you through this. There are so many tutorials and the way he's done the tutorials on a playlist, you, by the end of it, you just know everything. I've watched every single one of them. They're really easy to understand. It's very intuitive. If you're not techie, you are gonna be able to work through this if you watch the tutorials. And there are a load of people that have come up um, with different ways of doing it. If you're wondering about app integrations, this integrates with pretty much everything. Architecture predictions, wiki tests, um, ellipse, everything. I'm not going to be some people go, oh, he's not mentioned my app. Don't worry. You, and if you think about it, what you do with those will get that information on there without you going near it. And think about this with ellipse and with these other apps, but I did it with ellipse. I don't even touch my phone. They don't see it at any point. I get on their phone, they do it all on their phone, they've thought of a song, and then I go open up another tab, as I said, here's the stuff, scroll down and the song's there. That's mind blowing. And again, if you've got Peak Smith involved, you can double check everything. Really importantly as well, there's a great way of the phone telling you that it's all worked out. So when you get this notification or you, this haptic thing in your pocket, you go, right, I know it's worked, I know it's gonna be there and it hasn't failed me at all in practice and with a couple of people I've performed it with, but I've tried it with different friends of it and it's, it's just never failed me. So that's a little bit of what it does. Let me just check, and if I haven't, um, Smart Reveal Set Up Predictions, the ESP Star Signs, the Free Text Settings, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's pr that's pretty much all you need to know, I think. Any other questions, go below. Thank you very much. Have a great one. Thank you, uh, Shamir, for sending this to me. I'll be using it an awful lot. It's great. And uh, have a good one. Go and see onlinemagic.co and like and subscribe. Cheers.